Good morning, Cube. So, since I got so many views on my Movie Maker review, I decided to make a just a quick tutorial on how to use Movie Maker. So, the first thing, of course, is how to add videos and photos to your Movie Maker. So, you can even click on this button Add Videos and Photos. Browse for your videos. You can click on this panel here, or you can just drag and drop the video or photo to Movie Maker. Gonna do now. So here's your preview segments. You can mm, see here everything um, you're doing and what you have added to the video. Um, here's your slider, some basic buttons, fast forward, play, and so on. Full screen mode. And yeah. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to speed up and slow down the video. I got some comments on the review how to do that, but it's quite simple to do. You just press on edit tab and just select the speed. If you want to slow down the video, you want to select the smaller speed. If you want your video to go faster, you want to select the bigger number. Okay, about this lag, your video won't actually go go like this. It's just because of the preview. So I just can quickly render the video just to show it. Just to show the preview, save. Alright, it's rendering the movie. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, so if we just play the video. Yep, goes very fast, but there's no lag. Actually, there is a bit of lag, but it's only because of my Camtasia recorder. Alright, we covered that. Next thing, you can fade in and fade out the sound. So you can slow, choose the mm, speed of fading. So I'm just gonna like medium. So I don't know if you can hear it, but. Or can you feel it? It just goes from down, up. And you can select it on the end of the segments. So select fast. Once it comes to the end, and it's going, the sound is going down. Turn that to none. All right. So you can move this black slider with your mouse, and if if you have one sequence and you wanna edit each part of sequence for itself, you just wanna select split. Then if you have a part of the sequence on the start and the end which you want, don't wanna see you can even split the video and delete those sequences you don't want to or you can use the trim tool so just select the part of okay sorry select the part of the video you don't want to see so you, actually now you won't see these and these parts and just select save trim all right we're moving to view <coughs> so under view you can select the size of the sequence preview you can fit it whatever you want you can switch the preview to full screen so yep uh, pause so back to movie maker um, okay next you can change the aspect ratio ratio from 43 to widescreen now uh, when you add the music you can fit the video to music or music to video I'm not quite sure uh, yep, uh, automatically set the duration of video to music you added. Next, my favorite, visual effects. So, uh, as we split the video, now we can edit the each sequence for itself. Okay, so let me just show you the difference. Alright, so we edited the first one, and the second one has the blue. Oh yeah. Um, if you want more effects on one sequence, you, you can select multiple effects. Uh, but uh, you just uh, you need to know the name of the desired effect. So you just want to hold down the mouse. So this one is called Hue Cycle Entire Entire Color Spectrum. So you want to select multiple effect and scroll down Hue Cycle and just press Add. And if you want to remove 
one of the displayed effects you just want to click on remove one of my favorite effects are the cinematic overlay effects so um, let's just show you this one you just click on apply it's always played it so you can see this thing in the dark so just give the special effect to the video all right next thing are animations between the videos so this is uh, first here we got fading in so how the movie starts so just want to press these boxes press play so we start from the boxes once it reaches the end can select the nope count uh, you have to select the start of the next sequence so now you'll be able to add the uh, ending effect um, let's, so wait, let's go with I don't know this effect I don't know so let's just take a quick review so it starts with pixelate some effects and this one starts with the other effect we selected um, about this transition transition lag as I said it won't be in your final movie so you don't have to worry about it <coughs> okay so some zooming tools um, you can move your video to uh, left align up down so yep you see how it's moving and of course you can add some other effects rotating video rotate zoom to the other sequence yep and the last thing I'm gonna show you is of course how to add music so I just wanna go to home tab and press add music so just use top the rock and the music should automatically make itself long as it's the video so but if it doesn't make you just can select it and uh, select the size of the music or set its duration and yep so here's set start time just move it up here and here are some uh, start and ending points you can add sorry about that my mother actually came to the door all right um we added the music so let's take a quick preview of the video again don't worry about the lagging it won't be in your final rendered video it's just because of the preview again you can add credits to the end for example I think it automatically rendered the effect yep and as you can see the music automatically stretches it to the end of the video you can always mm, make it smaller but I just can't see why it won't work Okay, right click, set endpoint. Alright, so it doesn't work. I don't know why. Options. So you obviously have to increase this. So you can see how it's um, getting longer and longer and longer. Yep, so. Uh, to add captions, actually the text to so the video, you just press on caption, it will automatically render the text. Type in some text, change the font from if you want, um, change the boldness, color, whatever you want. So, just play it. Here's your text. Again, I think you should be able to change it. I just don't know why it doesn't work. Again, have to do. Damn. Not. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure why it doesn't work. You. You should be able to move these sliders to make the text longer. It should work on the music too. But I just can't get it. All right. So we just we can just select the duration of the video. So of the text. Sorry. Again, some effects for the text fading in, fading out. Sorry. Yeah, and that's the basically it. Again, you can play around with these titles, captions, credits. Uh, actually, can do whatever you want. And when you're done, you can even save the project as 
so it will be the in the movie maker project format or you can just select save movie and render it whatever you want so here are some mobile device settings so for Xeon, Windows Phone and so on uh, for high definition display so if you want to render it in YouTube HD you can use these settings and you can always create your own custom settings alright YouTube that's all hope you enjoyed and again I just want to thank you for so many views I mean many views for my channel on we make a review and the beta remove username video and one thing please don't comment on this video man it's lame I just wasted I know 10 minutes of my life and please don't do that it's so annoying I'm, actually I'm just gonna I don't even won't I won't even read them I just I'm just gonna delete them so yeah thanks for watching and goodbye